In this session about factorization in algebra, we'll look at factorization of type 2 wherein we have to group the numbers together, group the uh, terms together and then factorize them. Let's take an example uh, xm plus xn plus m5 plus ny. Now, if you look at all the four terms together, there is no element which is common in all the four. X is common in these two, but it is not here. And Y is of course in this two, but it's not present here. So I have no elf element which can be common in all the four. And this gives me an indication that type one factorization is not possible. And that's why I should go with the type 2 factorization which is known as grouping. So I am going to group the terms together in pairs and then factorize them. Let's uh, decide the groups here. I see that x is common in both the two, uh, both of these terms. So I can have this as a group and y is common in these two. So I can have this as a group. I am now going to factorize this and this groups separately. So I'll first draw a box for this one and write the elements here xm plus xn. And similarly, for this group, I'll write down my plus ny. Now, these two groups are individually type 1 factorization wherein I have to take common. So in these two, x is common. So I'll have m plus n over here. And in these two, I have y common. So again, I'll have m plus n over here. Now it's very important that the terms that I get above meaning m plus n here and m plus n here they should be exactly identical they should be like terms otherwise our factorization will be long so i have now x into m plus n and plus y m plus n now this is there are two terms with us first term is x into m plus n and second term is y into m plus n. And both these terms contain m plus n as a factor. So I can have m plus n common. If I take away m plus n from this term, I'll have x left over here. And if I take away m plus n from this term, I'll have y left over here. This shows the final factorization for this type of expressions.